Hello everyone, on this tutorial I will show you and explain you how working Terraform action block. This action block is available only on Terraform version 1.14 anywhere. Let's take a look on our code. So I have deployment of simple lambda function. Really simple lambda function, here is the code of this lambda function, you see it's just printing out event, basically payload which is receive, that's it. In main, we're packaging the lambda function and basically I am role for this lambda function. And I am role has a great, great logs permissions. Very simple. If I will deploy it, it will deploy lambda function. But I want to trigger this lambda function. Sometimes you need to trigger or just execute something. For example, we want to trigger this lambda function as soon as it will be deployed because it's sending some notification or it's initiating something. Many reasons can be, but you need just to invoke this lambda function. Up till now, you probably use this null resource local execution. Basically, you're running a AWS CLI command with this lambda function name, and here is some payload you can send. This is it, and also it's dependent on lambda function, so it will not be executed in parallel because we need lambda function to exist. And also, if we want to run this lambda function always, then any change to the code. So because the, if the code will change, so this SHA will change, so we can add here trigger something like this trigger so hash basically every time lambda function is changed this code will be executed so basically the blc line will be executed so you need to have a wc line okay let's run it and see that it's really working okay as you see here the null results also will be created so nice let's run it and here you see the lambda function run. We can go to AWC line and check. Let's refresh. Here's our lambda function. Here's our code. And we can check in monitoring CloudWatch logs. And this lambda function was initiated. And see it incoming event. It basically printed the event triggered by Terraform local execution. Okay, this is the old way. Now Terraform version 1.14 just make sure you have this version i have 14 beta supporting more accurate way it's supporting terraform actions i will destroy this okay new it's exact same code as you see it's exactly really same code same python same terraform now terraform action how you can use it this way you see action name of the action there's not many actions exist yet uh, just name it as you as you want and config basically you're providing some config to this uh, aws lambda invoke a function name which function we want to in, uh, run and some payload Let me go to the documentation you will see which configuration we can provide go here Show documentation. Let's find it here. So, okay, Lambda. You see, we have resources, we have ephemeral, we have data sources, and new actions. Here is it. Some examples. And let's go to the configuration. So you have context, function name, invocation type, log type, payload, basically the most important qualifier if you want to use some specific version of the Lambda function. We will use simple one, something like this. Okay, so as you see, we basically tr will trigger this lambda function, this lambda function, and we will send the, this message. Okay, if I will run it right now, will it execute it or not? Let's go and test. Okay, so it's going to add four resources. Let's see which. So lambda function itself, okay. I am role, attachment of the policy and policy. So where is the action? There's no action here. It's basically ignoring, completely ignoring this action. It will not run it. In order to run it, we need to trigger it. Action exists, but we need to trigger it. And to trigger it from resource, very, very easy. So we add in life cycle. Pretty sure you know it. And there is a new parameter for life cycle called action trigger and two parameters events which events will trigger my actions uh, let's say after 
create and after update so after lambda created it, it will trigger and also when lambda will be updated it also will trigger and next one is actions so we can uh, trigger a few actions not only one so basically list of actions and what we provide in here we provide in here this action invoke this so this is how it will work let's run and test it now you will see something new okay so you see it's going to add for resources and also action it going to invoke one and here's action to be invoked after this change in order lambda function basically it's going to invoke our action and you see action completed lambda function to invoke it successfully payload 96 bytes one invoked if i'll run it again i didn't update my lambda no any changes let's just test it you see no changes required let's go and check my cloud watch just to see if it's really invoked so you see a new log file and here triggered by terraform action so yeah it was triggered let's trigger it again basically make some change to lambda function i'm going to to my python code and we'll add here just really uh, really space two spaces okay my code changed lambda function will be updated and it should trigger my action because i want to invoke my lambda function on any update and you see so one will be changed and action will be invoked so my source is changing and action will be invoked and lambda function was invoked what else you can do let me show you something interesting that this action support for each or count so here is it same basically but it also count five times i want to initiate it and in payload also providing basically it will send this message and also this message uh, but interesting if i will use here as you see i just name it count if i'll use it count here basically i want to trigger this it's not working yeah you will get the error i think it's just not supporting yet but it will be supported in future for, for sure as you see action instance was not found in current context so let's change it back to this we can try to run it without count but count in the code to see if there will make, make any difference okay let's try to change it right now to count and you see same error basically just not supporting yet uh, that's fine how you can so let's change it back to this so how you can invoke this it's basically let's say it's standalone action which cannot be triggered by a life cycle yet uh, how you can trigger it you can trigger it using terraform c light so let me show you how you can we can do it and trigger it basically it will trigger five times a simple command terraform apply dash invoke cool and the name of our action here's our action which we were trying to invoke yeah that's it okay you see it's going to invoke it five times five actions okay yeah let's run it invoking lambda function in action invoke successfully let's go to AWS console so, and we see new logs is appear so yeah it able successfully run my lambda function and terraform action which already exists for aws it's again lambda function invoke cloud front create invalidation when you want to invalidate cache refresh it basically code build start build step function start execution transcribe start transcription job and more will come because it's really new so you will see more and more actions available i hope it was helpful and you learned something new see you on the next tutorials bye bye